I'm no fan of the sun. Would be better than this. Whatever you and Tharston found in the old tomb he is very exciting. My son and I gather items to trade with travelers who visit the village. His name is Nicholas. He is a good lad, strong and loyal. I only wish he wasn't so eager to leave the village. I've tried to tell him that the world beyond our lands is dangerous and cruel, but he won't listen. You would do that? I know he would listen to you. You've been out there in the wide world. You know its perils. Yes, perhaps you can convince him. I would be grateful if you would do this thing, outsider. I hope that you can make my son see wisdom. My mother was Skull, but she left the village and I was born in Skyrim. A trade ship from Skyrim struck ice off the coast near the village. And the Skull took in the surviving sailors. My mother fell in love with one of the sailors, my father, and eventually returned with him to Skyrim. Sadly, no. She died in Falkley, where I was born. I came across a few of my mother's old things not long ago. Among them was a necklace that my father gave to her when they were married. I believe she would want it placed upon her tombstone in Falkley as a symbol of her undying love and the great sacrifice she made for it. If you find yourself in Falkreath, please give this amulet to the priest Brunel and tell him that I sent you. He will understand. I don't have much to give him reward, but return to me when the task is done and I'll do what I can. Thank you, Skull friend. Until next time. I've seen outsiders in our village before, but none were like you. That's right. I want to go out into the world and earn great glory. I want to hunt the deadliest creatures and claim vast riches. I'm wary of living in this village. I want to do something with my life other than farm, fish, and hunt deer. I know it must be hard for an adventurer such as you to understand this, but we Skull live very boring lives. Well, I know there is some danger, of course, but I didn't think it would be that bad. If the risk is truly so great, I will train with Wolf Wild Blood and hone my skills. Perhaps in three or four winters, I will truly be ready. I can see that in my eagerness for adventure, I have forgotten my duties as a son and as a Skull. You have helped me to see wisdom, and I thank you for that, Skull friend. It's so bright out here. I don't know. Damn it. If Nicholas leaves me now, I will be truly alone. May the Allmaker bless you with many sons and daughters, Outsider. Once again, you have shown that you are a true friend of the Skull. I wish that I could give you a reward that is equal to the joy in my heart, but I don't have much to offer one who has so much already. Perhaps these will prove useful to you. These herbs are unique to the island, and their light cannot be found elsewhere. Until next time. I had expected East Grimoire City to be bigger. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Come 
on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. What can I do for you? Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. Morwen, you say? Now, that is a name I haven't heard in a long time. Left to join her mother's people on Salt Time, as I recall. I knew her parents quite well, you know. Vera and Ulfa were good people. Very much in love. Now, what can I do for young Morwen? Ah, yes. Vera's silver necklace. It was a wedding gift, and she rarely took it off. I'll be glad to oblige. What a touching gesture. To display the symbol of her devotion in such a way. Tell Morwen I'll be happy to grant her request. I'm sure it will bring joy to her mother and father as they walk in Asterius. Never... Get away from me. These graves hold the sons and daughters of Falkreath. Hello again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for me. Let's kill some! <laughs> Listener! <laughs> oh, and that tickles! <laughs> Humble Cicero lives what to now? serve. All right, let's see what you have. Azura's will. Whatever you say, boss. Mafala Cloakyu. Thank you. 
So scary. Cicero will show. You who's scary? Captain Gallen does the business. Around here. I'm just a ship's mate. Be careful. Stand aside, Outlander. I work for Mogro. You got a problem, you talk to him. Serve house. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I yeah, so. I'm beginning to like this partnership. Here you go. If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. What was Who's that? The I knew I heard I knew it!
My mother was small, but she left the village, and I was born in Skyrim. You've brought warmth to my heart, outsider, and I'm in your debt. Please, accept this as a token of gratitude. Once again, you've proven yourself an ally to the Skull. I'm here to think what would have happened if you hadn't saved me from the elves.